Hey everybody, welcome back to another haul video for the month of November 2022. It's a small one, but pretty cool nonetheless. Let's start with the first book right here, Shuna's Journey from Hayao Miyazaki. You might know him from Studio Ghibli fame and all the wonderful pictures he directed and created as well as the manga that he wrote. And such is the case here with Shuna's Journey. This is a watercolored manga released back in, I believe, 1983. And this is the first time that it's being published in English. I had no idea that it was by first second. And I hope they get into the manga licensing game because they put out some great independent comics. And I think they could do really well in the manga scene. This particular release is absolutely gorgeous. I love the paper quality. The actual illustrations look great, especially with the watercolor. And just the overall look and feel is top notch and easily one of the best releases of 2022, in my honest opinion. Next up is Inspector Volume 11. I was missing this to complete the second arc of the series, which I'm super excited to get into. I mentioned it on the previous haul video. I wanted to read up on it before the anime started next year. Solid looking artwork, great series overall, highly recommended. Although don't start with this volume, go back with uh, volume one. Here we have Bakemonogatari volume seven. I was supposed to get more, but I decided to split them up with different orders. And as sensual, I guess, as the cover may seem, I actually think this is one of the best covers of the series in manga form. I really like this. I love the spine work. It's super cool to see uh, the different volumes with different colors lined up. It looks really nice. So hopefully one of these days, sooner rather than later, I can read through the whole thing and give you guys a proper uh, review on this series. Okay, so let's start with a crap ton of Viz Media books. You're seeing here Beastars Volume 21, and somehow I keep forgetting that Viz has a lot of licenses. Like, holy smokes. I just, I, I'm a fan of these series, but I never order by publisher. That's not something I'm actively aware of. Yes, I know what they're putting out, but I'm more focused on the individual series, if that makes sense. But yeah, Beastars Volume 21, super excited. I can't flip through too much because I don't want to spoil what's happening because this is towards the climax of the series. But definitely check out Beastars if you're interested in what you're seeing here. Asadora Volume 6 from Naoki Urusawa. Super excited to have this. I love the series. Made a first impressions video if you want to check it out. My overall thoughts on the first volume. And what's really odd and kind of cool about this release is that we are up to date with it. Volume 6 came out in Japan last year. So we're officially up to date. I don't know when we're going to get a Volume 7, but hey, it's cool to get faster releases. Next up is Rooster Fighter Volume 2. Super excited about this. I loved Volume 1. I am up to date with this series. I highly recommend it. It's very tongue in cheek. It's an action parody. It's super badass. Yes, it's ridiculous. That's the charm. And I invite you to check it out if you haven't. You're going to have a fun time with it. You follow this rooster who's avenging the death of his sister at the hands of this giant evil looking kaiju monster. So he's going through Japan and, and fighting these creatures and saving the population. And in this particular volume, you see more of his supporting cast, especially the baby chick here. I highly recommend Rooster Fighter. Trust me, you're going to have some fun with it. Dragon Quest The Adventure of Dai Volume 5. Here we are. Now, this is pretty interesting. First of all, I am super grateful to have this. This this looks amazing. I think this is one of the best releases of the year. Uh, the build of the book is fantastic, and it just looks amazing and really does the series justice to have it in this format. However, this volume marks the end of the first arc of the story and everybody took notice that we don't have a volume six solicited as the recording of this episode in november 2022 i hope that they're going to do this release arc by arc so i am optimistic that we're going to see volume six or part two of the story uh, soon next year and one quick thing that I did want to highlight is towards the end, you get the character profiles and the illustration gallery, which looks amazing. 
really, really nice bonus sections, in my opinion. Seriously, just a fantastic series. You don't need to know anything about Dragon Quest. You can just enjoy this epic sword and sandal style shonen adventure of a kid fighting against the evil Dark Lord and saving the world with friends and all that. And you're going to have a blast with it. Black Lagoon Volume 2 and 3, for the longest time, these were horribly out of print and super expensive online. I could never find a good deal on them, so I just waited out because I knew they were going to get reprinted eventually. Obviously, the queue list is insane when it comes to manga these days, so it's just a waiting game. And that's what happened with Black Lagoon here. I waited and waited, and here we are. I got Volume 2 and 3 at retail price. Fantastic series, high octane, action packed. If you haven't seen the anime, now's the time to get the manga because you can easily acquire the full set of all 12 volumes. As of me making this video, I am missing uh, two of them, eight and nine. So that's a little spoiler for the next haul video. Call of the Night, volume four and five, finishing off what's out there right now. I gotta give a shout out to two of my buddies that helped me out, individually looked at different stores and one of them found volume four and the other found volume five they know who they are thank you so much i highly appreciate it and now i'm officially up to date and i'm looking forward to new volumes and of course i got to show you all the spines they look pretty cool together finally on this manga haul we got berserk volume 12 deluxe edition top tier production at the hands of dark horse looking really badass love it has the three posters, has the colored pages at the back, and just seeing this stage of Kentaro Miyuta's life, his artistic expression at an all-time high, just the overall attention to detail with the monster designs and the backgrounds, it just looks so freaking amazing. Uh, big fan of Berserk, like many, and so to have this is definitely a treat. I love it, and I've been happily upgrading the single volumes and getting these deluxe editions so that's been fun over what two years now and we're nearly done we have one more to go before we reach volume 40 and 41 and we don't really know yet how they're going to collect that so it's going to be interesting to see what they do if we wait for a volume 42 eventually or do we get supplemental material from the guidebook or something like that and make a thinner volume 14 we'll see what happens one anime release, Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid S, or Season 2. I believe this was a million times better than Season 1. This was one of my favorite shows of 2021. Highly, highly recommend watching. I love Miss Kobayashi. Yes, it has fan service, but at the end of the day, these are fictional characters. I don't really care. I'm in it for the wholesomeness and comedy, and this season definitely delivered in some genuinely heartwarming episodes they go more in depth with each dragon and examining the relationships between each other so i really enjoyed seeing things like toto's backstory being fleshed out more now i should have mentioned at the start of this blurb here this is kyoto animation's return and they delivered after that tragic event they're finally back and they started with miss kobayashi's dragon maid season two and it looks amazing the fight scenes the choreography the character designs everything just on point even the freaking opening they're just flexing their artistic muscle and i'm here for it i thought this was a stellar release i love the hollow foil slip cover that's kind of new and inside at least you get a little art card which i appreciate thank you so much Alrighty, that's going to be it for now. Small haul, but pretty cool in content, I think. Thank you everybody for tuning in. God bless. Stay safe out there. I will catch all of you on our next video.